a wrestler, but I don't wrestle with pig. Tinubu taunts Atiku and Obi. How? Why is this man always using derogatory statements? Eh? This is again another violation of the peace accord signed with the peace committee led by former head of state General Abdusalami Abubakar, retired. All right? This is why Tinubu did not sign that uh, 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 peace accord. He's, he kept on using derogatory words on people with impunity and feeling that nothing will happen. How can you call human beings pigs? The same way he said that it is disgraceful to, for, for people to mention Peter Obi's name before him. Eh? So you, you are a wrestler, but don't wrestle with pigs. So you are not referring to Atiku and Obi as pigs. This is one reason he will not get anywhere. Because if this man wins presidency, he's going to be a problem to Nigeria. He's going to be a dictator. He's going to be worse than a military president. He's going to be a worse dictator. I am telling you the truth. And this is more reason this man should be watched closely, right? Let's see what he has to say more. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC Bola Tinubu, has taunted his fellow presidential candidate, saying he does not wrestle with pigs. Ha! Tinubu, at a town hall meeting in Calabar, the Cross River State Capital said Atiku Abubakar of the Poor Democratic Party, Peter B of the Labour Party, and others do not have the kind of experience he possesses to rule the nation. According to him, other presidential candidates have resorted to insult and abuse to detract him, divert his attention, and wrestle with him. Though he described himself as a wrestler, the former Lagos state governor maintained that he does not wrestle with a pig. Can you imagine? No other person is running like me. They have no facts. They have no experience. They have no track records. They have no degree of honesty. Can you imagine? So does Tinubu have honesty? They can't keep their promises. They resort to insults and abuses to detract. No, it doesn't catch me. To divert, I say no, I am from Tinubu Square. To wrestle, I am a wrestler, but I don't wrestle with the pig, Tinubu stated. According to him, his concern for being in the 2023 race is the development of Nigeria. He expressed worry that the nation had not progressed the way it ought to since 60 years ago, stressing that the task of moving Nigeria forward must be achieved in 2023. Hmm. My concern is the development of Nigeria. This is a talented country. God blessed this country. In the past 60 years, we are yet to make the necessary progress we ought to have made. Telling the past stories is gone with the wind. Moving Nigeria forward is a task that must be done, he stated. Hmm. So, so now the problem I have with this candidate is that he is saying that people are detracting him and abusing him and saying not derogatory things to him. But the question is that he throws the stone first. And you know, he that lives in a glass house does not need to throw stones. Now he throws the stone first and when the stone comes back to him, he takes it as an offense and then he throws another stone using it to 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 you know to fight back and say they are throwing stones on him, all right? How can you say that you are a wrestler, you are from Tinubu Square, but you don't wrestle with pigs, referring to other presidential aspirants in the race as pigs, all right? Is this, is this fair? Is this right? Is this good? Should this be condoned? This is actually not supposed to be coming from a presidential candidate, all right? Atiku has tried to manage his words. Uh, Peter Obi has been very excellent in managing and choosing words, but Tinubu has just been too, uh, would I say too arrogant with words. He uses words carelessly at will and feels nothing happens, can insult anybody. Now he's saying that those other aspirants do not have track record, are not honest, do not have antecedents, do not have experience. They are not, they're also saying that they're not honest. So what are you saying? Uh, uh, is Tinubu more honest? Is, track, is his track record better? Right? 
Is he stronger? Does he have what it takes to lead Nigeria? Is he more honest than other people? No. We, Nigerians are saying no to that. All right? Nigerians are saying no to that. So, as a presidential aspirant, it means that he cannot, he wouldn't even be able to manage his anger as a leader. All right? Because as a leader, you'll be frustrated. People are going to insult you. People are going to use all kinds of, all manner of words and all actions on you. But your ability to manage that, comport yourself to manage that, is what makes you a leader. And we see that this man who does not have that comportment, does not have that patience, does not have that humility, does not have that meekness, does not have that wisdom, you know, cannot manage his temper. And this person wants to lead Nigeria. The level of impunity he has in addressing Nigerians and talking to Nigerians, you think if this man becomes a president, he's not going to become a, 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 a dictator. We, are you sure this kind of person will conduct a free and free election and hand over power by the time he finishes his tenure if he eventually becomes the president? I don't think so. I really don't think so. So, this he's saying now cannot go down well with Nigerians. Saying that he is a wrestler, but he cannot wrestle with pigs. I'm referring to other presidential aspirants as pigs. Hmm. Somebody saying here, you are the only presidential aspirant that looks act and behave like pig somebody's throwing it back to him and that person is saying exactly all right somebody say you just ended the piggy discussion no? that means since you the the, the, the you are terming the discussion of the presidency of nigeria come 23 as piggy um you just ended it in your own part because people will stop looking at your part as well somebody says who is insulting who really you Called others' names personally, but frankly, I have not heard uh, Atika Abubakar or Peter Obi call you names. That is true. Those presidential experience have never called Atika names, but he, he does call other people's names. Very observant. Thank God we are all seeing him from whom he is now. That is true. All right? That is true. So don't mind the piggy politician. Can he exonerate himself from the mismanagement of Buhari's administration? Gas, his party kept to their own promise. Has his party kept their own promise? Yes. In the past almost eight years, and he is telling us that he will he will continue from the failure of Bari. Can you imagine? All right. But Tinubu, you are not only a pig, but only a stinking swine. Can you imagine? They are giving it back to him. Tinubu is a, is cancerous and dangerous. Tell him, and people people are seeing that from now. That is what people are writing. Tinubu should keep playing God. God will surely reduce and disgrace him. His arrogance is getting very disgusting. Somebody is saying you are not God. Can you imagine? God has not choose. There is nothing to brave up for in his life. It is too late. Lie has piled up for too long and can't be defended. So. His only option is to keep running and hoping for a rigging miracle, which will not happen, which obviously will not happen. Track record of no family history, no primary and secondary school history, no history of source of wealth, etc. What's wrong with Nigeria? All right. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is quite unfortunate. You are talking about track record, but your own track record, your own history is in secrecy, cannot be traced. At least he should be able to give a name of an orphanage where he grew up. We are okay with that. No identity can only be ghost. Cannot, can you imagine? <laughs> eh? Eh? So, well, I mean, is, is, you know, they, they, they are giving it back to him now strongly. All right, because of politics, you are calling somebody animal. But remember, if you are in the position of Tinubu, judge yourself, my brother. Can you imagine? So, so it's quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate that this is coming from 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 somebody who wants to lead Nigeria. We have over four hundred and sixty something comments here. People coming out and are all against Tinubu for making this statement. All right are all against him for making this statement. It's quite unfortunate that this is coming from him as somebody who intends to lead Nigeria, that you are a wrestler, but you don't wrestle with pigs, referring to other presidential aspirants from other political parties as pigs. It's quite unfortunate. 
though he's showing him showing the kind of person he is at this moment he's showing the kind of person he is and nigeria should know better come 2023 election and thank you for listening and let's have your comment over this comment that uh, tinubu has just made referring to other aspirants as pigs